hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to talk about set interface in uh, collection series so last time we have seen uh, vector and stack class so today we'll talk about uh, set interface okay so let me just go over the uh, hierarchy so the diagram which we have created in previous session so set is an interface okay so there are uh, three classes associated with it, with uh, set interface so hash set uh, and linked hash set so these are the two classes which directly implements a set interface and there is another class tree set and a sorted interface so tree set uh, uh, implements a sorted set interface and sorted set interface uh, extends set interface so today we'll talk about uh, these uh, three classes okay and before we move to set interface let's talk about uh, in brief about uh, q interface okay because this is not very much important so that's why i'm not going to cover uh, a lot in q interface so we'll just see an overview of q interface like what are the different uh, i mean what are uh, different classes like priority q and array equal q class and what is array uh, q interface okay so let's just talk about uh, q first so java q interface orders the element in fifo first in first out Okay, so it works on the basis of first in first out uh, list manner in FIFO first element is removed first and uh, last element is removed at last so this is how we can create the object of priority DQ and array div classes okay so priority Q class so it holds the element or objects uh, which are to be processed by their priorities uh, some priorities will be given to the elements so based on heap short okay so we are not going to cover heap short uh, probably later on we'll discuss so priority queue doesn't allow null values to be sorted in the queue so no null values will not be allowed here and these are the different methods okay this is deep interface so unlike uh, queue interface uh, here we can add or delete the elements from both the sides so this is uh, different than queue so DQ stands for uh, double ended Q that means we can add or insert uh, we can perform uh, different operations at both the ends okay and yeah there is a class inside uh, DQ interface we have array DQ so that is the property of uh, array DQ that we can add or delete elements from both the ends and another property is array DQ is faster than array list and stack and has no capacity restriction now let's uh, talk about uh, set interface which is the agenda for today so we'll see uh, three classes inside set interface okay so set interface in java is present in java.util package and it extends the collection interface it represents the unordered set of elements which doesn't allow us to store duplicate items okay so we can store at most one null value in set set is implemented by hash set a linked hash set and tree set okay this is how we can create the object of different classes uh, uh, which are associated with the uh, uh, set interface so let me just uh, talk about hash set first okay so this class implements set interface okay so these are the different uh, properties of hash set okay so let me just create a program uh, of hash set i would select public static void main so let's just create a hash set import hash set from java.util okay and here i'll add some values like 12 
so this is how we can create the object of asset class okay and this is how we can add the values so let me just go over the properties so hash set uh, man doesn't maintain any order so let's look let's print it first and then we'll see in which order it will print the values so here we go so we have inserted uh, 12 first 12 43 4 and 54 but it prints in different order 4 54 43 and uh, 12 okay so this uh, hash set uh, works on the basis of hashing hashing is the technique to use the to add the elements in hash set okay so we are uh, not going to cover uh, hashing here so probably we'll discuss later on uh, what is hashing and how it inserts the element so that is a separate topic so but it doesn't matter uh, maintain any order here okay uh, another thing is hash set doesn't allow duplicates so let me add duplicate here so i'm trying to add 54 again but let's see if it will add or not so it doesn't allow uh, duplicates so basically uh, set is famous for uh, to add the elements uh, unique elements okay and uh, another thing is uh, it allows null values however if you insert more than one nulls it would still return only one null value okay so let me add null here two nulls okay so here i have added two null values so let me just print it so here we go only one null value is coming in the queue in our uh, hash set okay and it is non synchronized okay and hashing as we, as we have discussed earlier is the technique used to insert the elements in hash set and this is how we can create the object of hash set so let's talk about uh, different uh, operations so we cannot get the particular elements here okay because this is not index based okay so suppose i want to get um, fourth or fifth element then it is not possible we have we don't have get method here okay so what we'll do so but before that let me iterate so since it is not indexed based so we can use uh, advanced for loop or iterator so let me use uh, advanced for loop integer itr and uh, we have hash set object so so we have integer object okay and the, this is the reference variable so it, it will iterate uh, every time this uh, whatever elements present in hash set is s one by one okay and it will uh, store in itr and it will print one by one okay so let me just print it let me just comment this one and then let's print so here we go it will print null 4 54 43 12 and yeah uh, so suppose i want to uh, get second element okay second or third element third means uh, second index so how to get that so first we have to convert this into array list okay then we can get this so let me create the object of array list class we have to import array list now we'll provide here uh, our uh, hash set uh, object okay and now let me try to get the dot get uh, suppose second index okay 
so let's just print it so second index means 54 let me give getting particular elements element okay so this is the 54 second element 0 1 2 suppose you want third element so it should print uh, 43 yes so this is how you can get the particular element by converting the set into array list and you can get the values desired value so this is all about a uh, hash rate uh, now let's talk about uh, uh, what is next linked hash rate okay so the only difference is uh, it doesn't um, it maintains insertion order okay linked hash rate so let me just do one thing I'll copy this whole class and I'll paste it over here and I'll give linked hash rate linked hash rate demo so let me open this one sorry linked hash rate this one so instead of uh, hash rate uh, let me use linked hash rate here we have to import that so let me just uh, run this so if you can see one second yeah it maintains the insertion order right 12 43 4 and 54 4 and 54 so it maintains the insertion order so this is how we have inserted so let me insert one more in between 43 and 4 so let's insert 30 so it will still maintains the insertion order here we go 12 43 34 54 and it does not contain uh, duplicate values okay it nullifies this 54 and as well as uh, one null value so it can insert uh, up to one null value only one null value okay and another thing is getting particular element so we want third element okay so zero one two three so this will be retrieved okay so this is how we can uh, work with uh, linked hash set now let's talk about uh, tree set sorry uh, delete this set demo so instead of uh, linked hash set let me make it preset and here as well okay and one difference is uh, it does not allow null values so it will give it should give error here so let's see here we go java null, null pointer exception so which should uh, command these two lines and let me run it again
yeah so it also does not uh, maintain the insertion order okay and uh, based on the particular element so this is how we have printed and based on particular index like we want third so 0 1 2 3 43 will be printed so it is same like hash set only thing is it does not allow null values so if you can see this is hash set this is linked hash set we have talked about so it maintains insertion order the difference from hash set is that it maintains insertion order okay rest is same and another thing is tree set class so it it uh, does not maintain the insertion order okay the access and retrieval time of tree set is quite fast the element in tree set sorted in ascending order oh sorry sorry guys uh, it maintains as a uh, ascending order sorry about that so let me just look into this like you can see that 4 12 30 and 43 and 54 so it maintains the insertion order so let me just make uh, add some more values 72 here so 72 we have added it first but it will come at last okay so this is how it will uh, tree set works so tree set sorted in ascending order and it doesn't allow duplicates okay it doesn't allow null values also so this is how tree set works and another thing is we can use here uh, instead of hash set we can use set also that will also work we have to import the set interface because hash set uh, implements set interface so uh, it doesn't matter anything because all the methods all these are the methods uh, which are unimplemented method in set interface and uh, yeah so this is all about today okay so in the next session we'll talk about to map interface okay so thank you for watching guys uh, have a nice day bye bye